Uh, hello, this is Srikant from iCharts. Uh, I'd like to give you a detailed overview of uh, one particular tool, which is uh, price versus OI. Yeah, you, you can monitor price versus OI along with IV and PCR in this tool. Also have a VWAP in this. Uh, by default, latest data is selected. So the latest trading day or the current trading days data is displayed. And by default, the nearest strike to the current price, the ATM uh, strike is going to be displayed here. You can change as per your requirement. Uh, so whatever call strike you select here is displayed here and whatever put strike you select here is displayed here. And by default, PCR is not displayed. You can click here to display the PCR line. Same for here. If the strike price is same, because this, this P particular PCR is, uh, the PCR for this particular strike. So you need not enable it here because it's, it's going to be the same. Only if you're you are selecting different strikes, then this PCR is going to be different. This PCR is not uh, the overall PCR for Nifty, but as I said, it's a PCR for this particular strike. Now, um, what would one look at? I mean, this, what I'm going to say is just uh, guidelines. I mean, this is, so just take it as educational. Uh, there are uh, lots of ways to look at uh, price, OI, PCR, IVs. So this is just what uh, I know and I've learned. So I'm just going to give you some information about that. Uh, what I would do is uh, once uh, the market opens, I would uh, first try to determine uh, the bias of the market, which side uh, the market uh, is tending to go to. So that uh, could be decided based on price action or uh, OI stats tool or cumulative OI change tool that we can go into it uh, in other videos. But once the bias is decided, then probably you could say, you come here and start to look at uh, where the price is, this particular strike now, where, how it's acting relative to VWAP would be the first thing I would check. It's breaking down from the VWAP here. It's breaking down from the VWAP. OI is increasing. So could be call writing going on. PCR confirms this, the trend of PCR. I would look at, keep looking at trend of PR, uh, PCR because uh, basically it's put call ratio. So if, if it is increasing, then the put writing is increasing or the call writing is uh, unwinding is going on. So here PCR is falling. It means uh, either uh, the puts are getting uh, unbound or put unwinding is going on or call writing is going on here. Obviously, since uh, uh, call OI is increasing sharply, that means uh, call writing could be going on. So once this breakdown, once you have this in place, like the PCR is going down and the call writing is going on, and then the price breaks down, you might want to either short call here, or at the same time, you can confirm by take, taking a look at the same strike put, just to see if the same thing is happening here. Also around this time, the put is breaking to the upside. So either you call short over here or you put, basically if you're a buyer, then you just buy put here with stop loss somewhere a little bit further away from, from the VWAP. Same here, the stop could go maybe above here or here or whatever as per your uh, requirement. And how far it would go, basically you'll have to depend on price action. PCR also when it starts to flatten out, you could take a look at that. Maybe the move is over you'll have to decide that uh, on price action or just have target somewhere because this is intraday trading. So just take your profits and go out or uh, take partial profits based on targets and then 
trail or whatever. So this is it. Basically, again, to reiterate, I would uh, take a look at the price action around VWAP earlier. Same even uh, during the day, whenever price is interacting with VWAP, those would be key points to take a look at and just see what is happening and then decide based on that. Now here about IV, generally if you're an options writer, then ideally uh, the trend of IV should be down. If you're a put buyer, if there's a flattening of IV, then it will be better because that would, uh, I mean the DK would not be that much, but of course, since you're trading intraday, it may not be a big issue unless it's a Wednesday or a Thursday where the DK can be really uh, high. So this is about IV. So I hope, I hope this is a good intro to price versus OI. Look out for other videos where I would uh, go into a cumulative OI change, multi-strike OI, OI stats and other tools. Thanks.